Hi, Sagittarius. It's me, G1 Writer with G1 Insights. And this is your Life and Love Focus for the month of June 2019. Sagittarius, this is the time for you to awaken the goddess within you, okay? It's time to awaken the goddess within you, you know, by dealing with your creativity, um, things that you love. Try to focus more on the positive this season, okay? A lot of you have been so caught up with so many different things that you're not even really recognizing that the storm is over, literally. Like, the storm is over. And a lot of you have been so focused on your problems that you haven't even begun to even take time to see what is really, 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 really happening, Okay, and so what the universe is doing with you is helping you with patience this season. Okay, so Leo was harmony, Aries was peace, and for you, my love, is patience. Because here's the thing about literally obtaining the things that you need from the universe is really practicing what, or even learning truly what manifestation is all about, okay? And I know that a lot of you are very spiritual beings, so manifestation should not be something hard for you to um, achieve, okay? But the best way to manifest anything is to let go of what what is currently happening. So if something is really, really, truly weighing you down and making you sad, making you frustrated, um, it could be anything ranging from your, because you guys don't really feel good when your spirituality is not intact. And for a lot of you, your intuition may have been really low. Your sex drive may have been really low. Maybe you've been really, really busy working and doing a lot of boring things that don't really spike your interest. Or maybe you're too deep into something that you deeply really want to get out of, okay? And the universe is saying that, look, we can give you all these things, okay? But we need you to stop focusing so much on your problem. Stop focusing so much on why you don't have that money, why you can't get the business started right away, why can't someone help you invest in that business, or why someone is not helping you at all. You know, try your best not to focus on those things. The best way to be, you know... <laughs> I feel like, wait, let me stick with one point, okay. You need to obtain a much more clear perspective, okay? And so, and I mean a much more clear perspective on how you deal with your circumstances. So the best way to manifest is to always be of service. You guys know me. You know I always talk about that. Be of service, okay? But be of service doing something that you really, really love. Be of service doing something you know you want to do. You know, like don't, for instance, like don't take a job, you know, doing child care because you want to be of service and your heart is really in nursing, for example, or if your heart is really in, you know, um, clerical work, don't take a job doing child care. You get what I'm saying? Like, try to do something where you can completely be of service and your heart is not unhappy, you know? And to keep your heart happy, you have to do things that you love to do. So on a side note, I mean, aside from making money, what are some things that you really, really love to do? These are things that you may be pressured into thinking about this season because the universe don't want you pressuring yourself and worrying yourself about something that is practically not even here anymore. Okay, so this storm of yours or whatever it is that you are dealing with or are facing, um, I feel like a lot of you fire signs are going through this phase of like, a release type of thing where you need to release a habit or, re you know, just release or let it go so that way you can manifest greatness into you, into your life. And, you know, for Leo, it was a little different, you know, um, they, they, they need to let go in a different way and they need to let go so that way they can be happy. But you need to let go because, you can't really get what you need. All those things that you've been asking for, you can't really get those things that you need because you've been obsessing. A lot of you have really, really, truly been obsessing over this situation. And I'm not, I feel like, for a lot of you, I feel like it's a financial issue. I feel like there's a lot of financial issues between you and your spouse. Um, 
and not really that anyone's broke, but the fact that I feel like you are asking for something and either you're asking for something and this person will help you or they don't really fully believe in your business or whatever it is that you're trying to do. They don't fully believe in it like they claim they do. So it's like they're giving you a lot of run around and making you go back and forth. Or this could be a situation where, uh, a legal situation for some of you, where you had to actually put out some money that you need. Right? Where you're like, oh my God, I need this $500. If I spend it on this, then how can I get that? Like a lot of you are really obsessing over something that is really kind of causing a lot of friction between you and someone that you know and, or love, perhaps. Um, but for some of you, this is a legal issue. For some of you, it could be child support. For some of you, it could be um, something more, much more personal for you, like a business or um, some type of adventure, something that you are deeply interested in. So be very cautious about... Um, your dealings with your finances this season. I would really recommend that you guys take a, um, really try to minimize your expenses, okay? And I mean literally take some time to minimize your expenses. Like go through everything, write down everything, calculate everything, and you'll begin to see exactly what I mean, okay? And be patient, be patient with the process because I feel like the storm is over. But again, there is going to require you to have some patience, okay? And I mean patience with the people involved, patience with yourself, patience with the process. It's going to take you some patience. Your intuition will come back to you. Your spiritual guidance will come back to you. So this may be a season, instead of you worrying about something so much, you may just want to reflect on it mostly. And don't just reflect on it, but there's a lesson in it for you, Sagittarius. So whatever it is that you need to learn, whatever it is that you need to gain from this situation, allow it to be a lesson for you. Allow it to be a lesson. So whether it was a driving situation, a child support issue, whatever it is, take it as a lesson, okay? I've been telling all of you fire signs that because I really feel like Whatever you're going through is literally like a blessing in disguise. And so this is really one of those points where you want to be as focused as possible. And you can't do that when you're obsessing over something. You cannot obsess and manifest at the same time. It just does not work that way. You can't say I'm manifesting, you know, um, and I'm praying and I'm working hard and God just won't answer my prayer. It is not God. God don't have anything to do with it, honey. It's you. You're blocking your own blessing because you don't believe that it's actually going to happen for you. You're blocking your blessing because you're not listening to your inner guidance. And part of that is because you're stressing about everything else that you're not really paying attention to what spirit is really trying to tell you. So it's not that God is not answering your prayer and it's not that you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. It's just that you're overly doing, you're overly obsessing over something that you literally have no control over. And the universe is saying, look, we got you. Trust the process. Have patience. We got you. Trust the process. Trust the process. Have patience. Okay? Have patience with the universe. Okay? Understand that there's unlimited resources in this universe. There's unlimited finances in the universe. There's unlimited friendships and opportunities for you to network, Sagittarius. So don't look at something as a complete loss. Okay? This is a season for you to really, I mean, indirectly um, count your blessings because you are more blessed than you think and you have a lot more support than you believe and people are literally rooting for you and happy for you. And I feel like the only person that's not really supporting you and uplifting you is you. So to be very cautious about blocking your own blessing because of one little hiccup in your life or whatever it is that you may be dealing with. And I understand, especially if it's a housing issue, I feel like for some of you, I just heard housing. For some of you, it could be housing, okay? Um, I understand how rough that can be. So I want to tell you, you know, again, the resources are unlimited, my love. And you have to really, really believe that, that the resources are unlimited. 
really, really look around. Don't just give up because the area you went to just didn't support you or want to help you. Keep looking, keep searching, even if this is a job, because for some of you, it is a financial issue. So keep looking and keep searching. I guarantee you that something is in the midst that you're not really looking at. I feel like you're overlooking um, this this person or this this community group or it's something somebody is trying to help you and you're overlooking it because you really don't believe that they will really help you so go to the one place or the one person where you don't think that they would help you all right that is your challenge Sagittarius to just do it to just go for it and have patience with the process like so when you go for it have patience. Remember that it's a process, right? Trust the process. Have patience. Understand that it's all going to happen in divine timing. And all you can do at the moment and just be thankful. And while you are being thankful, this is going to be the perfect time for you to focus on other things that you love or wish for, okay? So instead of waiting around and crying and getting upset and fighting people or cursing people out <laughs> because they're not jumping when you need them to jump, I want you to not be so bossy, to try your best to be humbled and loving and caring and supportive. And I promise you the universe will bring that energy right back to you okay so i felt like the overall theme for you tonight was simply just to kind of remind you on how to manifest the right way you cannot manifest and obsess at the same time it does not work that way you know how they say you can't pray and worry yeah that's what i mean you cannot pray and worry at the same time like if you believe that god is for you then who can be against you if you believe that god is going to do it for you then who can take it from you nobody i don't care how many people have your gift I don't care how many people have the same ability. It doesn't matter, right? You are special in your own way, and you have to believe that, that it's okay to be inspired and want to do something the same way. But guess what? You were created unique for a reason. You are you for a reason. You have the name that you have for a reason. And so it doesn't matter how many people around you are doing the same thing or it doesn't matter if you have a moment where you're feeling really um icky inside like you don't really feel secure and safe and stable minded right it's okay you know you're human but remember my love you are spirit first okay you are a spiritual being first and so in you are a sagittarius okay you have to <laughs> remember to cater to your spiritual side just like you are focused on material possessions of this world and just like you've been so focused on the physical elements of this world you have to remember that you are a spiritual being first and when you don't take time to cater to that spirituality what happens confusion happens you know distractions happen disruptions okay heartbreaks okay a lot of different things begin to happen and we don't like it but it doesn't mean that we give up on our dream because we didn't like how something turned out so Sagittarius get back to you get in touch with that inner goddess and begin to raise your vibration because the more you get in touch with your inner goddess you begin to dance more dress up more laugh more have more fun be more supportive like you are such a great person when you're living in your divine purpose right like you just naturally feel so good and so in love and so happy and i think that this is a time where you just want to deeply truly get back to that and you just don't understand why it has hasn't been that way lately sorry guys i got mosquitoes in here <laughs> so okay like you just don't understand why it just hasn't been that way lately and that's okay okay when you really really take time to figure it out trust me trust the process have patience this season the universe got you i love you sagittarius have a great week wherever you are in this beautiful universe Please share this message around the world because everyone deserves to hear this message from G1 Writer, okay? So I love you. Thank you for your love and support. Have a great day. Love you. Bye-bye.